Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and uh, I'm back playing EverQuest, as you can see. I'm not really playing too much at the moment, um, I've just been mucking around with some of the games, I've been trying to finish Fallout 4, which I've, I kind of have done. I guess you never really finish Fallout 4, do you? You, um, you finish the storyline, and then you kind of go back, at, that's what I'm going to do, I'm kind of go, go, going back at certain points to uh, to do different things. I've just started playing XCOM 2 as well, which, um, yeah, quite weird actually, I'm I, I wasn't doing particularly well, but I think what I was doing is I was playing the game um, and kind of trying to listen to stuff on YouTube and as well, and you know, and that kind of thing. Um, and it's the sort of game like even on even on like the the normal level, it's the sort of game where you kind of really need to concentrate and position your, your players, position your, your characters, you know, correctly and all that kind of stuff. And I wasn't kind of really doing that, and I I just kept kept the character just kept dying, and it got to a point where I couldn't keep up with. Uh, with the, with the, with what the aliens were doing, because I kind of just just had to keep using rookies and stuff. So <laughs> I kind of started again, turned everything off, and just concentrated. And now everything's going fine. I've had about five flawless uh, missions in a row so far, so that's uh, that's pretty good. But um, and I'm enjoying it. It's a great game. A uh, couple of things about it, I'm not I'm not too sure about yet. There's quite a lot of timed missions where you only have a certain amount of time to do something, and that can be quite. Uh, that could be quite frustrating, you know, because you. I've, I've, I, although, to be honest with you, some some of those things that you need to do within those timed missions, uh, you can use the the remote, remote hacker for, which I kind of stupidly didn't realise until the most the most recent mission. Yeah, um, but yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. I quite like to sort of sit and look and not not kind of plan what I'm going to do, take my time, not be under pressure, you know. But. Uh, yeah, it's something they've added to the game, and I, I guess it's, I guess it kind of, for people who are, are sort of awesome at it, I guess maybe it kind of adds a different dimension for them. Makes it a bit harder for them, uh, and creates a bit more tension, I guess. So you know, but but I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's great. I'm enjoying that. Um, so I'm not playing EverQuest too much, but I've just kind of come back and uh, Mugwort's still in purgatory. To be honest, uh, he hasn't been reimbursed yet. Uh, but I'm not too bothered about that actually because like I've been thinking, re I'm, I've not been playing EverQuest, but I've think, been thinking about it a bit and thinking about what I want to do uh, for this year because um, I don't really want to spend another year s sort of uh, you know just languishing around and, and kind of not really seeing parts of the game that I, that I want to see. So I'm kind of just thinking about what I want to do. I'm playing Mug uh, Bug Rot at the moment, which I I'm really enjoying. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll carry on with Bug Rot. Maybe we'll see. While Mugwort is is out of commission, we'll, we'll we'll play. I'll play him and see how we go, and uh, see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, that's it really. Um, but what, as I said, I mean, I kind of when I haven't been playing XCOM, I've been kind of reading the forums over the last couple of weeks, and there's <laughs> some crazy stuff going on. I mean, I, I watched uh, Serkin's recent um, stream, and they're kind of talking about how to fix the raid scene, and I, um, I mean, obviously I've got I've got no experience with the raid scene, but. Um, I guess my view on it is that I can't believe that people, like adults, um, can't. I guess I guess that's a can't believe. That's probably not right because step out your doorway, walk down the street, and you can see what utter morons some people can be. Um, so maybe it's not not a surprise that people can't work. You know, can't kind of act sensibly and intelligently and logically and. In a sort of a sixteen-year-old sort of seventeen-year-old game now, you know, maybe uh, maybe people just can't can't do that. Oh, there's a belief enchanter quest. Okay, that's a strange name. But I will uh, I will chuck a little uh, I will chuck a little spirit of wolf on you if that's what you're uh, if that's what you're after, my dear. There we go. Oh, it didn't take hold. Oh, fair enough. No props. Um, looking at my equipment, belief enchanter, <laughs> strange name. Um, Forty-eight enchanter. Yeah. I guess maybe they, maybe the, she wants to kill. Um... Ah, no props. There you go. Thank you for the uh, the clarity. But it was very kind of you. Uh, very kind of you. I do, I mean, I have to say, I'm one of those people that doesn't quite like people who, I just don't like them. I, I don't, I'm not keen on people just coming up, kind of looking at you, looking at you. It's just a bit, you know, 
What's that all about? <laughs> um, yeah, looking at your equipment and stuff. Maybe I'm just a bit old-fashioned. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of that. Um, well, I've got to worry about mana um, at the moment, which is which is real nice, real cool. Oh god damn it! I should use Malai's. I should use Malai's Malaisman, um, but I just haven't been. Which is a bit stupid, but I guess I guess what I can do now is I can be a bit lazy with the mana because I've got some um, cause I've got I've got some clarity going on. That'd be pretty. Uh, that'd be pretty awesome. That's bash. Yeah, I, I kind of still do the old tanking. I quite like sort of sitting there tanking a bit and hitting things. Um, yeah, but one of the things I was kind of thinking about. Um, let, let's kind of go. Let's go back. <laughs> let, let's rewind because I just. Um, yeah, I just just. You were just. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was just kind of going. What am I, what am I doing? What I'm talking about? I'm kind of start going forward, and I'm coming back and stuff and all that. Yeah, so kind of talking about raiding and stuff. And I don't really know anything about raiding, but as I said, you kind of think that people should be able to um, work things out themselves without kind of like GM intervention. But I guess people can't, and it's weird, you know, because like, just look at anything here. I mean, this like the Clay Guardian Shield here. Yeah, if you look at that, that is that is like a picture. Um, some artwork that someone has, has drawn, basically. Um, what we got here? A scythe. Okay, I think those scythes are worth. Uh, yeah. So maybe she, maybe she can uh, can do those. I'm assuming she's an enchanter. Um, yeah, I mean, as I was saying, like this, this the Clay Guardian shield here is a drawing of a shield, and the programmer has given it 25 AC and plus 50 hit points. Um, you know, now, now don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I like getting stuff, and I'm like a numbers person. You know, I like to see numbers go up, and I think that's probably why. Um, that's probably kind of why, why we like role playing games. While while we play these kind of games, it's it's about the immersion, it's about the world for me. But I do I do quite like to see a number go up you know when you get a new level your numbers going up you feel good you can't you think you know you know you're going in the right direction you're moving forward and <laughs> get somewhere i guess in like today's society we're, we're pro programmed to, to, to move forward aren't we that that's there's a pressure to do that um but ultimately that shield is still a bunch of pixels that someone has drawn and then a, then a programmer has, has attached some stats some numbers to it uh, and when you put that on your character, it kind of increases the numbers. But even liking those numbers to to increase, you know, like liking you, you like to see that. I can't. I still can't for the for the life of me understand why. Like that, you know, the raid scene is in the situation it's in. I can't believe that people, you know, and it's crazy stuff like people not wanting other guilds to get to get items and doing stuff so they don't get items. Um, like with the whole sleeper thing recently you know a guild has kind of awoken the sleeper and then they kind of quit um not all of them but it's like and, and people can make up excuses and say well this we, we did it because of this that and the other and it, we weren't really being jerks you know but i mean ultimately at the end of the day um you've kind of raced to do something um that, that, that locks out other people and then you kind of quit and that, that's weird that that to me that kind of says that you're just acting like a you know like a bunch of numpties really like you did that on purpose just to prevent someone else from from getting from getting some 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 equipment you know and that that's a that's a weird thing you seem to have the whole sort of training thing going on like people are not clearing dungeons anymore you don't need to you can just you know create a conga line in a zone and just peel off the mob that you want and kill that and then you move on you know it's uh it's it's a weird weird how, how it's working but i can't understand that i can't um, like when i get a bit of equipment i feel really excited and one of the things that i kind of I was kind of thinking about doing like one of because i kind of want to experience all the shame and stuff and one of the and the equipment as well one of the things i haven't done is i've never had a like a job i've never had an epic of course um i've never had a jaundice bone bracer uh, the old JBB, and I always kind of wanted to try that out to see what it's like. So what I was one of the things I was kind of thinking that I might do 
Let's play along with bug rot, but before I get to 45, just farm some plant and stuff. I've got some stuff I can sell. And maybe I can afford to buy one. Uh, that might be quite quite good. So then I can kind of, from 45, when, 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 I, when I can start using it. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I can I can give it a go and see see how it works out, you know. <laughs> but that's but that's but, but you know for, for me that's kind of purely just doing something that I haven't done before. It, it kind of seems fun, you know, and it's a it's an item for the class that I love that I've never experienced. So yeah, that that's kind of. But as I said, but there is there is a there is a certain element of me wanting to get the uh, wanting to get that item, but I wouldn't. Um, but I would never um, like try and block anyone else from doing it before I did, you know, or or any, or that kind of stuff, uh, or make it awkward for someone else to get it or whatever, you know. It's just a, it's just quite a weird, uh, quite a weird thing, quite a weird logic. I don't quite know where that comes from. I, don't, I guess it kind of, um, I mean, MMOs have always attracted a certain type of person, and maybe there is a certain type of person that. I don't know. I don't know if something's happened in in life, you know, and they're they're angry about things, and uh, and EverQuest is is EverQuest is kind of their outlet, uh, you know. I mean, I mean, kind of, you know, like for me for me personally. I mean, I when I was a kid, I experienced quite a lot of quite a lot of bad things, the sort of things that could probably make you yourself not a great person. But I luckily kind of went the other way, you know. I didn't. Um, I didn't want to be like those people, um, like my peers who who were not particularly great people. I didn't want to be like them. I kind of rebelled against that, as it were, rather than kind of go down the, the same road. And maybe that's it. So you know, I'm certainly not criticising or blaming those people. Maybe there's just something about their personality that means that that's that's what they do. You know, something's happened, or you know, psychologically they're just that way. You know, where they will do something to stop someone else doing it in a game. <laughs> that's that's 16 17 years old you know maybe that's uh, that's how it works it's weird yeah so that that's that's but it's interesting kind of listening to circum because i i kind of you know you kind of think that i kind of get the impression he doesn't he doesn't want to um uh punish people and stuff it's kind of like a, a last resort i guess but i kind of wonder really if just if just actually banning people permanently is the way to go because um, if you know, if, if these guilds, if some of these guilds are um, getting a suspension for a, a couple of, you know, the next couple of spawns, well, I don't quite understand what 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 deterrent that is. It, it must be difficult for the uh, it must be difficult for the um, for the GMs, but I, I don't understand what that is. What sort of deterrent that is? I mean, a deterrent to me in that situation would probably be well, I'm looking at some files and some reports and some, maybe some YouTube recordings or I'm watching what's going on this particular guy here is doing something against the rules so he is banned um, now that might be harsh you know maybe what you need to do is before you start doing that is that you make it clear that you know if we see anything if you're you as irrespective of the guild if we see you as an individual doing something wrong you're banned um, permanently um, and I said it might sound harsh, but that's kind of like you know, if if we were all part of a group of any sort of group, a hobby group or a gaming group, and you would and you were doing, you know, if you were part of a knitting class, for example, <laughs> and you went around, you know, uh, you're knitting something, and Granny Smith next to you is is knitting the same thing, and she's ahead of you, you know, and you go and punch her in the face so you can finish before her. You're gonna get banned if you if you nick her knitting needles, you know. If you're sticking behind a radiator in in the clubhouse, and she can't carry on, she's wandering around, staggering, crying because you can't find her needles, you know. You're gonna get banned for that, you know. They're, they're not gonna want you in the group anymore. That's and so the banning seems logical to me. It just seems something that maybe needs to be done, you know. And as I said, I can understand like the. the the guy, the gems and stuff, not wanting to do that. It should be, it should be a last resort. But I, I do, you know, they're talking about well, how can we, well, how can we kind of stop what's going on? How can we make it better? Well, you have to. It's harsh, but you have to weed out the people that are causing the problem. Um, and you know, and then you're, you're kind of left with people who maybe want to want to want to do what they were doing and and, and cause a problem. 
but ultimately they know that they're going to get banned. Um, so yeah, it, it's a, it's about uh, it's about. I guess it's similar when you know you get you go to a football game, you get crowd trouble, they use CCTV to pick out the idiots, and they ban them. And, and I, I'm not quite sure why why we're not doing that on here because. Because the thing is, I mean, I guess at the top in all, you know, all these guilds, at the top of up to the top of these guilds, they're the same people that have been doing this for years. You know, these people have probably gone through <clears throat> all of the top guilds at, at sort of one time or another over the years, and they're kind of doing the same things or encouraging the same things, and yet they're, they're still playing on here. I don't, I understand it's difficult for the GMs, but I don't understand it. I don't understand why you would not, you would not weed out the, the problem. You know, it's a it's a weird thing. I mean, you may have got to have known these people and you've spoken to them or on your stream or in game or whatever it may be, but ultimately that's surely it should all about be be, be, be about the good of the server, or, you know, and not 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 the fact that you you kind of know someone and you know you know they're not really a bad guy, but you know you, you, I think you've got to yeah you've got you've got to be you've got to be hard I think probably, but I don't know if that will happen or not. I'm really, I'm really not sure. It's funny when you look at some of the things that people get banned for, like people get banned for RMTing um, and two boxing and stuff. And they're against the rules, but you know, isn't isn't purposely doing things to 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 sort of stop people gaining some gaining something, or you know, purposely being an arsehole in a raid zone, uh, doing things that you should, I know they shouldn't be doing. Isn't that as bad? You know. It kind of feels a bit weak to me. It's easy to ban the RMTers, you know. It's easy to ban the the two boxers because we've got a rule against that. Um, but this guy who I've kind of spoken to and has been playing on the server for four years, and he and he's and he's you know he's 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 been an asshole in in, a, in on a raid. Well, I, I can I'm then I'm kind of struggling a bit more to ban him, and I'm not quite sure what what that's all about. what that's all about. But anyway, that's uh, yeah. That's my view. I think you've probably just got to you just got to get the server just got to get harder on people, you know, and chuck out a, a few bands to some prominent people who are, who are not doing the, the the right stuff, and you know, uh, see see where it goes. I'm not saying I'm not saying it will kind of solve the problem, but it does kind of smack of um, like double standards a bit. You know, you you ban someone for something, um, but you kind of let, you're letting other people getting away with essentially ruining the raid scene. It appears, you know, so yeah. It's, Weird, but anyway, that's that's that. <laughs> um, but there's a couple of funny posts that I kind of want to finish the video on. Um, one of them was a few weeks ago now, but some guy was in a in a uh, in a group in Carnal's Castle, I think, and a and a T staff dropped, um, and it was like an upgrade for him. So he's a, the assumption. His assumption was that um, well, that's mine. You know, it's like, it's like an upgrade for me. Am I close to level? I'm kind of getting there. It's a bit slow, but we're getting there. Um, it's an upgrade for me. I, I really should be should be kind of given this, as it were. You know that that well, that kind of seems to be the mentality when at the start of the Fred. You know, kind of a bit later on uh, when I think he realised that pretty much everyone disagreed with him. Um, yeah, it was. It, 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 he kind of, it kind of maybe went the other way, but it was funny because like a GM got involved in stuff, and I, th I think what he did was he kind of looted the staff, and then I don't know exactly what happened. People were saying he wouldn't give it back, and he was saying that he was kind of waiting to give it back and that kind of thing. But an interesting topic about it's an interesting topic generally about groups and stuff, and about sort of need before greed and uh, and all that kind of thing. And I think that, um, oops. You don't want to be jumping, bug. <laughs> and it's uh, you kind of. I mean, I, um, I kind of like to think that I would, I would kind of say, um, if I was in, if I was in a group of friends, and a tea staff dropped, and I, and I knew the monk, and I knew that he didn't have a level sixty enchant and a level sixty shaman, and you know, um, I would probably, you know, well, I would definitely say you, you know, if I won it or if the group is just unrolling, I would give it to him and say you take it. It's not great for you. I know that you, you know, I know you, you'll use it and you're not hoarding a load of plat and stuff and whatnot. But when you're in a, in a pickup group, you can't really have need before greed, can you? Because um, even though this monk may say, well, look, I'm I'm a poor monk from the first character. This is not great for me. Blah blah blah. Um, you don't really know that, do you? That's a 
that's, that's, that's the thing. You don't really know that that's the case. You just kind of got to take them on face value. And I think, unfortunately, on this server, people will seem to do or say anything to get loot. So, uh, yeah, you've kind of got to... It's difficult, it's, difficult to, it's difficult to go with that. But also, the other thing is all of those people in the group are working as well. You know, they're doing their doing their bit. So I think in a in a in a sort of a, a pug, you know, you can't really probably expect that. Um, in a guild, or maybe you know, well, in a guild, maybe definitely in a group of friends, I would hope. You know, um, yeah. But it, it was a it, it's a, it was one of those things. I think you probably can't expect that. Really, that's that's. That's what I think. But there was another, another interesting thing there, which I, which I kind of didn't didn't like the sound of, and that was like someone came in and, and they, they said they were in a group with I think it was a monk again, and the monk had a fungi and a fungi dropped, um, and he rolled and won it, you know, and he he kind of corpsed his monk, so he could take that fungi and sell it, I guess, or give it to an orc or whatever. Um, so he kind of had two fungi, and, and now I have to say that 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 is a big. <laughs> For me, that would be a big no. I would probably leave, leave the group at that point. Um, that 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 seems a bit. That seems a bit. That's kind of getting back into the raid thing, where you'll do anything for for pixels. You know, if I if I was in a group and I had a fungi and another one dropped, I wouldn't wouldn't even roll. You know, it's just yeah, that seemed a bit a bit douchey to me. But it kind of goes back to the whole guild thing, the whole raid thing, really, isn't it? The the, the things that we'll do. You know the things that we're 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 willing to do for, uh, for for them pixels. You know it's um it's weird. I mean I, I was kind of thinking the other day um, because I'm in a uh, in a situation where I'm kind of playing. I mean for the first time in in a while. You know I logged in this morning and the server had less than 400 people. It was like 380 something or whatever. So I play at a difficult time. But when I, when I'm sitting here, I do kind of do a who all a certain guilds to see how many people are on and stuff and. Um, there's, there's normally not, obviously, in, in a on a situation where there's only 380 people on, there's a lot of guilds. You know, there's, there's there's not a lot of people on from any one particular guild. So I'm kind of in a weird situation at the moment. But I do kind of wonder myself sometimes if I, if um, if the time where I play now, where I can invest quite a lot of time, um, was the prime time for the server. You know, how would I be? Would I be in a, a raiding guild? Or would I be, you know? raiding all the time and doing that kind of stuff and I I don't know maybe I would be doing it to a certain extent to kind of experience experience the game um, experience parts of the game that I haven't got and I haven't seen before and recalled and obviously to get loot as well you know that's partly why we're here but I kind of like to, I don't know I like to think I wouldn't be you know I don't, I don't obviously I definitely wouldn't be up for any anything where you're you're purposely you know you're purposely trying to stop other people doing stuff and whatnot. I just wouldn't, wouldn't be up for that at all. But I think I would probably, I think I would probably raid for a fair bit, like as fairly as I could do. I think probably, you know, because it's a part of the game that I haven't haven't been into. Um, yeah, and just as, as, as an experience, really. But you see, yeah, it's interesting. All that kind of stuff I, I find very interesting. When I listen to Serkin's stream. I find it interesting because he, he normally gets like guild leaders and stuff on there and uh, it's funny because like, a couple of weeks ago he had a couple of guild leaders on there and they all sound and they were talking and stuff and they all sounded pretty uh pretty reasonable and stuff but then to me anyway it seems that over the last few weeks their guilds have been doing stuff that's kind of not not reasonable you know so yeah you never can tell you never can tell but anyway guys i think i've waffled on enough uh I'm um, as I said, I've been playing some other games. So I'm back, back playing EverQuest, and, and I've kind of, I'm trying to work out some sort of plans for this for this year. What I want to do, I've got, I've got like a new project that I'm going to be recording, but I think that probably needs to be, um, that's going to be like a like more of a more casual thing. I think I need to, I think my time this year needs to be spent concentrating on 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 the shame and you know to, and I've said it before, but you know, um, to kind of to kind of get somewhere because I got up to level fifty and I kind of started to. I quite like that feeling of being level 50 and and like I thought to myself, well, at level 51 I get a couple of nice new spells and and then at this level, you know, blah 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 and I can start going into different dungeons and doing different stuff and whatnot. So yeah, it's... <laughs> I need to... I have another side. Cool. Too many bloody rusty ones. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm not keen on. But I think they probably sell for... I've heard they kind of sell for 10 plat or something or whatever, so... Yeah, we'll be doing some more questing as well. Like I've got, I've got some bits here for 
some uh, totemic stuff, so I'll, I'll be doing that. I've also got my broom, <laughs> and I've got some cyclops toes, but I need a star ruby, which I they, they don't seem to sell on merchants. I was in Grob, and the wiki said to me that there's a merchant that sells them, but I it didn't seem to. It seems to only go up to ruby, so maybe I need to go and get one to drop from somewhere. I think I need some griffin feathers for, the, for that particular quest as well, but we'll go and do that, and that'll be quite good. The pets are still a bit rubbishy at the moment, but I do know that the, the 49 one is pretty good and when Mugwort was using that, that was uh, felt like a, a good upgrade, so yeah, that was pretty good. Anyway guys, that's it. I haven't been doing much. I'm just sitting here. Weird, it kind of sounds like I'm by the sea, but... Well, I am, because sea's just over there, I guess, but... This is kind of like a pond, really, isn't it? And I'm not sure it would it would quite have the, the gravitational requirements to be to be making those kind of wave noises um, even if even if it was connected to the the scene which it's not <laughs> so yeah, it's quite weird uh, I've got a round of buffing coming up so I think I'll stop now guys anyway thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again uh, soon